Hi! Today we're going to do a dragonfly out of popsicle sticks. Yay! For that we'll need three popsicle sticks, glue, glitter and sequins, a pipe cleaner, a piece of thread, and googly eyes. How exciting! We start by gluing the popsicle sticks together. You can paint them first if you like. I want to try! Put some glue on the popsicle stick, which will form the body. Glue, glue, glue. And attach the two that will be the wings straight over. Place them so that the popsicle stick, which will be the body, sticks out more in one direction. Something like this. So it becomes the body of the dragonfly on one side and the head on the other side. Now we put on the eyes. All right! Take a drop of glue and attach them to the head like this. A piece of cake! These googly eyes can be bought in ordinary hobby shops. If you don't have them, you can just make your own eyes out of paper and glue on. This is so much fun! There. Hooray! What happens now? Now we take a piece of thread so that we can hang the dragonfly. Okay! Cut off a piece and place it over the wings like this. Is that really gonna work? Then we take the pipe cleaner and wrap it around the wings and the thread like this. Aha! Just twist and twine the pipe cleaner around the wings. <laughs> this is going smoothly. Something like this. Beautiful! Now the thread is firmly under the pipe cleaner and the pipe cleaner has become the front body of the dragonfly. Take the ends of the thread and tie them together. Be careful so you don't end up in trouble! <laughs> there! Now you can hang the dragonfly. This is so great! Trabby dabby dabby doo! Now we put a little glue on the wings. Like this. Glue, glue, glue. There. Yes! Then we just sprinkle some sequins on the glue. Oh! Use a lot of that! More! More! <laughs> then we do the same with the body. Apply some glue. Glue, glue, glue. And sprinkle glitter. Yeah! More! <laughs> there you go. Now the dragonfly is ready. It looks great! Here are some examples of other dragonflies that we have done. It looks amazing! Hi! Today we're making a fun game out of a plastic bottle. How nice! For that we need a spun cotton ball, a bit of yarn, a pipe cleaner, and the top half of a plastic bottle. It's best if an adult cuts the bottle in half first. It's probably best if an adult does that. We start by taking the spun cotton ball and the pipe cleaner. Bend and fold the pipe cleaner double and stick it through the ball, like this. It looks easy. <laughs> Make a small loop of the pipe cleaner on one side, like this. Okay! And on the other side, we just twist and turn the pipe cleaner so that it stays put. You betcha! Then we take the yarn and pull it through the loop. Aha! Looks a bit tricky out there. And tie it with a double knot, like this. A piece of cake! Come on! There! Yes! Remove the cap of the bottle. I want to do that! <laughs> Dip the other end of the yarn into the opening, like this. Yep. And screw the cap back on. This is going smoothly. There you go. Now our bottle game is ready. Woohoo! The idea is to hold the bottle in one hand and swing the ball in the yarn and then try to catch it with the bottle in the air. You need a little more space than we got here, preferably outdoors. You can also paint and decorate your bottle game in any way you like. Here, for example, we made a bird by cutting the bottle like a beak and glued on some tissue paper and paper ice. Wow, it looks great! 
Here are some more examples that we have made. Beautiful! Hi! Today we're going to do Calamity Crow in Play-Doh. Yay! For that you need Play-Doh in these colors. Blue, red, orange, white, green and some black Play-Doh. All right! It can also be useful to have this kind of ordinary table knife. Do not use a sharp knife. We start by making the body. Okay! Take a fairly large lump, something like this. Save a lump for the head and the wing. Roll the Play-Doh into a bowl so that it becomes smooth and fine. You can roll it on the table or between your hands. It looks easy! Once it becomes round, put it on the table and shape it so that it becomes wider at the bottom and narrower at the top. Is that really gonna work? Pinch a small tail feather at the rear. A piece of cake! Something like this. Classy! This will be good at the body. What is that supposed to be anyway? <laughs> Flatten it a bit on the top where the head is going to be. Then take a good size piece for the head and roll it into a ball. Aha! Then attach it to the body. There! Fantastic! Then take a small piece of Play-Doh and form it to a wing. Flatten and shape it into a drop like this. I want to do that! Something like that. Woohoo! Then use the knife to make the fingers. Watch your fingers! Like this. Easy as pie! Then just press it to the side of the body. Perfect! On the other wing, Calamity Crow usually have a plaster. You betcha! We do this with a piece of white Play-Doh. Exciting! Shape it in the way that you want. Hurry up a little! Like this, perhaps. Yes! And attach it to the other side of the body. How nice! Now we'll make Calamity's cap. Take a piece of white Play-Doh and form a small ball. This is going smoothly! Put it on the table and flatten it gently to a low cone-shaped hat. Yeah! Something like this. Oh, that's really nice! And just press it onto Calamity's head. Be careful! <laughs> then we take a little red for the edge. Great! Take a fairly small piece and roll it into a long narrow shape. This is so much fun! Then put it around Calamity's cap. I like it! And just remove the excess if it's too long. And put a little red tassel on the top of the cap. Beautiful! There! So neat! Calamity Crow's eyes we do by rolling two small white balls. Alright! I want to try! Something like this. Aha! Take the knife and carefully make two holes where the eyes should be. Easy now. Then just press the eyes in the holes. There. Is that right? And there. It turned out just great! Then take a teeny weeny bit of black and roll it into two small pupils that you just press firmly onto the eyes. Looks a bit tricky out there. <laughs> there. All right! Calamity scarf we do by taking a piece of red Play-Doh and roll it into a long strip. My favorite thing! <laughs> Put it around Calamity's neck and flatten a little. Hmm. There. We'll make the beak by taking a piece of orange Play-Doh and shape it into a cone like this. Here, you have to hold your tongue. <laughs> Is that really gonna work? There. Yep, there it was. You can try to shape it a bit more like this to make it more beak shaped if you like. Beautiful! And then you just attach it below the eyes like this. Careful now! There! Wow! 
To make the feet, we first take a bit of white Play-Doh, because Calamity Crow usually have a foot in plaster. Yeah! <laughs> Roll a small ball, press it a little, and attach it like this. Woohoo! And his green shoe we make in the same way. Let's make another one! Roll a small ball. Yep! <laughs> this was fun! Press and attach. Great! There! Now Calamity Crow is finished. Look at that! That's me! Looking great! You can try to do several Heroes of the City characters in Play-Doh. Here's how it turned out when we tried to make a few of them. Wow! It looks amazing! Today we're going to make a spider. Yeah! For that you need a paper plate, pipe cleaners, paint, a paintbrush, yarn, googly eyes, scissors, and glue. We start by painting the paper plate. We have chosen to make our spider black, but you can of course make it in any color you like. Use a paintbrush to brush out the color on the plate. Paint, paint, paint. <laughs> Once it has dried, you can turn it and paint the other side. That's not bad. I'm really gonna try that. When it's fully painted and dry, it will look something like this. Woohoo! Now we're going to give the spider legs. Perfect! Place the plate like this and take a pipe cleaner. Aha! Fold the pipe cleaner double. It looks easy and make a small foot on one side. Okay! Like this. Then just glue the leg to the plate. You betcha! Choose a quick drying glue. If you have a glue gun, it's best if an adult takes care of the gluing. A piece of cake! Glue, glue, glue. There. Beautiful! Then just do the same with the rest of the legs. This is so much fun! Four legs on each side. Here. And here. Alright! Once the glue has dried, it should look something like this. Classy! Eight beautiful legs. Yes! <laughs> what happens now? Then we turn the spider over. Ta-da! <laughs> so that we can attach a thread here in the middle. Make a small hole with the scissors. Be careful with the scissors. It's probably best if an adult does that. Something like this. <sighs> Take a piece of yarn and use it double. I like it. Put the yarn over the hole and push it into the hole using the scissors. Oh, there's the scissors again. There you go. Then just tie a knot so the yarn doesn't pull through the hole. Easy as pie! There! This is going smoothly! And last we take the eyes and attach them with a drop of glue. Glue, glue, glue! There! Yes! And the same thing with the other eye. A drop of glue and press firmly. Great! There you go! Now our spider is ready. Wow, it looks great! Here are some other examples of animals that we have done. It looks amazing! Hi! Today we're going to make a race car out of a paper roll. Aha! For that you need a paper roll, spun cotton balls, wooden sticks, a straw, a piece of paper, tape, a pen, and scissors. It seems exciting! We start by cutting two holes in the roll, here and here. We are going to use the holes to fixate the car's wheels in later. Be careful with the scissors! It might be good if an adult helps out with the cutting. Watch your fingers! There you go. Great! But what is that supposed to be anyway? Then we turn the roll again. And here at the top, we will make a small seat. Aha! Here, you have to hold your tongue. First, we do a small cut straight down. Oh, there's the scissors again. 
Then we rotate a quarter turn of the scissors and cut along the side. Something like this would be good. Classy! Then we take the small piece we just cut out and bend it and fold it so that it turns into a small seat. This can be a bit tricky, but with a little patience it will work just fine. It looks easy! There! <laughs> we turn the car over again to attach the straws for the wheels, so the car will be able to roll later. Take the straw and cut off two small pieces. They should be slightly shorter than the sticks, so that the sticks stick out a bit on each side when you put them in the straws. Wow! Here and here. This is to make sure there is room to attach the wheels on the sticks later. Great! Now we use tape to attach the pieces of straw in the holes. Don't get tangled up in the tape! <laughs> You can use a little bit of glue here too, to make it extra sturdy. Tape, tape, taping, taping. Tape on both sides. It looks amazing! And now take the paper and wrap it into a cone. Like this. It's this that will become the front of the car later. Perfect! Use a piece of tape. Tape, tape, tape. <laughs> there you go. Place the car upright and insert the cone. What happens now? This is to mark out the length of the front. Okay! Take a pencil and draw around it, like this. That looks strange. There. Cut a bit from the line here. You can use any color of the paper that you want. If you have another color than white that you like better, you can use that instead. Cut, 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 cut. So here, it usually means a band-aid for me. Be careful. Now we'll make small cuts on the edge here. It's so the fit will be better so the front doesn't become dented. It looks amazing! It should look something like this when it's finished. Oh, that's really nice! Now we can put the cone in its place as a front of the car. There you go. Wow! Then use some tape to attach the little rascal. <laughs> You can use glue instead of tape to make it extra stable. I want to try! Then we turn the car over again to put the sticks in the straws. For sticks you can use, for example, toothpicks or pieces of flower sticks or barbecue sticks. You betcha! Then we just put on the spun cotton balls on the sticks. Yeah! Here you can also use a little glue on the tip of the stick first, so the wheels will stay in place. Now the car will roll beautifully. This is so much fun! Finally we put the little driver in its place. There you go. So neat! Now you can paint and decorate the car as you wish. Let your imagination run wild. It turned out just great! Look how great our paper roll cars turned out when they were completed. Hooray! Beautiful! Today we're going to do a cat out of a paper roll. Perfect! For that you need a paper roll, paper in different colors, scissors, a pen, and glue. Exciting! We begin by wrapping the paper roll in some colored paper. Okay! Choose a color that you like and cut out a good size piece. If you find it difficult to know how big the paper should be, take a piece that's rather too big than too small. Then you can trim the paper afterwards. Put some glue on the edge of the paper like this. Glue, glue, glue. 
press the paper roll to the glue. Looks a bit tricky out there. And wrap the roll in the paper. You betcha! Choose a quick drying glue. If you use a glue gun, it's best if an adult takes care of the gluing. It looks great! Finish by gluing it together. Careful now! Like this. It turned out just great! The joint of the paper is the back of the cat. Fold the upper part of the paper roll like this. Press the center of the joint so it ends up in the middle of the back of the cat. Hey ho! Turn the roll over and do the same thing on the front. Press firmly. Yeah! There! Now we have made the cat's ears. This is going smoothly. <laughs> now we're going to do the fur. Exciting! We do this by choosing a paper in a different color and cut it into strips like this. If you cut the strips a little wider, the coat becomes longer and thinner strips make shorter fur. Then cut the strips in small pieces like this, diagonally. Be careful with the scissors! Then change the angle of the scissors and make the next clip diagonally the other way. Then you'll get these kinds of small pointy tips or triangles. Oh! Then we just take the pieces and glue them on the cat. Glue, glue, glue! <laughs> Start at the bottom like this. Wow! I'm really gonna try that! and proceed to glue the pieces all the way around. Be careful so you don't end up in trouble! <laughs> then continue lap after lap, as high as you like it, until the cat looks something like this. Oh! It almost looks like my great-grandmother! <laughs> Now it's time to do the eyes. We make the eyes by cutting out small circles of paper like this. You decide how large you want them to be. This is so much fun! Then we glue them together so that they look something like this. Wow! It looks great! Then just glue them onto the cat. Put some glue on the back. Easy as pie! Then just press them onto the body like this. Yep, there it was! And then do the same with the other eye. A bit of glue, then press. That's not bad! There you go! Beautiful! Now we make the nose. Just cut it out in paper, in any shape you like. For example, you can make it heart-shaped like this. Or maybe a small round nose. That's a lot of paper! We choose the heart. So neat! Then we give the cat whiskers by taking a small piece of paper and fold it in half. Then cut off three narrow strips like this. Oh, there's the scissors again! It can be a bit tricky to cut really thin. But just take it easy and it will work just fine. Cut, cut, cut! Cutty, cut, cut! There you go. Is that right? Then glue the whiskers on the nose like this. Okay! So that the nose looks like this. Great! Almost like a little spider. Then just put on a drop of glue and attach it to the cat. Here, you have to hold your tongue. There. Wow! Fantastic! Now we're almost done. It's just the cat's tail that's missing. Select a paper in a color you like. Take a pencil and draw a tail. You can, of course, cut the tail on freehand too, but it's a little easier if you have drawn it first. Something like this. Ow! Oh! And then just cut out the tail. Uh... Watch your fingers! Cut. So here, it usually means a band-aid for me. There you go. <sighs> then we glue the tail on the back of the cat. It looks easy. 
just a small drop of glue. Glue, glue, glue. And press it onto the cat until it sticks. <laughs> there! Now the cat is done. You can do several cats or other figures too. Only your imagination sets the limits. Here's how great our paper roll animals turned out. Wow! Look at that! That's me, Calamity Crow! It looks fantastic! Today we're going to make a fun marble run that can be varied in many different ways. For that you need paper rolls, scissors, colored paper, glue, magnets, and a marble or a spun cotton ball. You betcha! We start by taking a paper roll and wrap it in colored paper. Easy as pie! Choose a color that you like and cut it into a right size piece. Scissors is a bit scary, I think. Then we take the glue. Choose a quick drying glue. If you have a glue gun, it's best if an adult takes care of the gluing. Put some glue on the edge of the paper. Yep! And press the paper roll to it. It looks great! Then we wrap the roll in the paper. Is that really gonna work? And glue on the roll as we wrap it to make it smooth and nice. Glue, glue, glue. Glue, glue, glue. Glue, glue, glue. Be careful so you don't end up in trouble. <laughs> you can of course also paint the paper roll instead of wrapping it in paper. There. And glue the joint on the end. There you go. So neat! Now we're going to cut up the ends of the roll. Alright! Here and here. It is so it will be easier to build together the marble run later. Great! Make a cut on each side of the roll and cut the top with a rounded motion like this. Be careful with the scissors! Watch your fingers! There you go. <sighs> then just trim off the edges on the bottom like this. Cutty cut cut. There. Beautiful. Then we do the same thing on the other side of the roll. Cut off the top of the opening with a rounded motion. Cut cut cut. Cutty cut cut. And then round off the bottom edges. Once that is done, it should look something like this. Classy! Now you can decorate the roll with what you think is nice. You can for example do as we have done, by cutting out circles in different sizes of colored paper and glue them together to these kinds of colorful roundels. Aha! Then just glue them on the tube. This is so much fun! Take a bit of glue on the back of the roundels. Be careful so you don't end up in the glue. <laughs> and just press firmly. Remember to make sure that the seam of the paper that we glued on the roll gets on the back of the tube. We only decorate on the front. It looks fantastic! There you go. Beautiful! Finally, we turn the tube over and glue a couple of magnets on the back. We put on magnets to easily attach the marble run to a, for example, refrigerator. Put on a drop of glue and press. Glue, glue, glue. You can buy these kinds of magnets in regular hobby shops. It seems exciting. There, now our marble run tube is ready. Yay! The more you have, the more fun courses can be built. They can look just how you want them to. You can also split the paper rolls into half and make these kinds of spouts out of them and then decorate just how you want. How nice! There we have the magnets on the back. You can also make the paper rolls into characters. Here we have a shark, for example. Wow! Just let your imagination run wild. You can make the marble run just how imaginative and colorful as you want. You can even make Calamity Crow. Neat, huh? Wow! That's me! Looking great! Now it's just to start building the marble run course. It can, for example, be attached to the refrigerator, whiteboards, or other magnetic surfaces. And thanks to the magnet, you can vary and build new courses again and again. Here you have several suggestions for parts for the Mabel Run. You can make simple or more fanciful rolls. 
short or long. You can wrap them in paper or fabric and you can also paint them. And you can glue on any decorations that you like. It looks great! You can also make a gold cup in which the marble can end up in the end of the courses. Aha! Now it's time to build and test our new marble run. Here we have built a long course. We test drive it with our new tube. There goes the marble! Woohoo! Here we have built another shorter course, more on the height. Yes! And here we have built a fast track with a little more space between the rolls. 